Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be doing a classic chemistry lab experiment here, the flame test lab. Um, if you've ever seen a road flare before, you notice that it has very distinct red color, and that's due to the chemical components inside of it. When you heat up different ions in solutions, it ends up creating very distinctive colors. So what we're going to do here is we're going to name off a whole bunch of different ions, check their colors, and then see if we can identify some unknown values. So Ms. Lashiva here is going to help me out with the first set for today. So let's go ahead, Ms. Lashiva, just tell me which ones you're starting with. The first sample we're looking at is barium nitrate. If you look at the liquid, notice it's a clear colorless liquid when I dissolve it in solution. But when I put it in the flame, you get a very distinctive flame color there. Excellent. So we got barium nitrate to start off. Wonderful. Our next one, which is quite possibly my favorite, is copper 2 nitrate. Um, in this copper 2 nitrate, you notice that it has a blue liquid, but is that blue liquid, is that blue color going to affect the color of the flame you see? Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Wizard of Oz, yeah. Emerald City. I wonder if that's what they did. I feel like a distinct possibility. Okay, here is another one that is also a lot of people's favorites. Um, we got a kind of slightly yellowish solution. What's it called? Uh, potassium nitrate, sorry. Is that okay? Now here is a pretty common one. Here we have sodium chloride or just normal table salt. So we have a salt water solution that we've soaked these flints in. And as we're going to start to see, guys, a lot of these look pretty similar, but they have very, very distinct little differences about them that we want to make sure that we are talking about. Okay. So our next one is lithium chloride. I think this is possibly my second favorite. I love this one a lot. There we go. All of these are tied for my favorite. Not going to lie. Yeah, I got some I got some distinct favorite colors in there. Very cool. And then here is that strontium chloride. So Mr. Fagan mentioned that we talked about road flares earlier. This is actually one of the compounds that they use in those ro road flares to get that distinctive color. It's very similar to the lithium chloride, but you should be able to see a little bit of difference. Um, our next one that we have is calcium chloride. It's kind of similar to what we saw with the sodium, but there are distinct differences to it. Think about which one might be more yellow and which one might be more of an orange or a reddish orange. Okay, our next one, we have some zinc nitrate. I can get this one going. There we go. And I always forget, is it ZnO3 or ZnO32? I always forget. Two. The zinc always has a positive two charge. Always positive. Yeah, because it's in that D10. It's always oh, going right, to lose right, those right, two right. S electrons. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then it looks like we have iron 2 chloride next. It's kind of gross. It's not very soluble in water, so it looks like some mud. Oh, that's a lot like what the cobalt looks like when you do cobalt. So this one is more of a texture thing that you're going to see in the flame as opposed to a distinctive color. Mm -hmm. So pay special attention to that. Uh, 
And then the last one we have here is aluminum chloride. I'm not sure we have enough energy for that transition. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. This one also is usually more of a texture thing than a color thing. So I think they're I think they'll see a little bit of it here. Now, one thing I do want to point out, you'll notice that some of these I called nitrates and some of these I call chlorides. Um, that nitrate and that chloride part, that's not the important part of what we're testing. The important part of what we're testing is that first metal ion there. So as you're writing these down, these down make sure you're paying attention to those first metal ions. Excellent. All right, so that's all of our known solutions there, I believe. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So tune in for the next episode where we start taking a look at some unknown compounds.